Hello everyone, my name is Mahabha Hussain uh, and my ID is 1505035. So we are going to present uh, object detection using yellow algorithm. Uh, we, are, we will cover these topics in the in our presentation. The first one is what, what is object detection. Object detection is a computer vision task. It involves identifying the presence, uh, location and type of objects in digital media. Digital media can be images or videos. For example, let's look at these pictures. We can see many objects here, uh, for such as bottle, uh, laptop, chair, etc. The object detection involves identifying those objects. So there are why uh, there are lots of use cases. It is object detection is widely used in computer vision. Uh, such as uh, image annotation, activity recognition, face recognition, etc. Uh, we have listed here a few. The first one is uh, optical character recognition, which is known as OCR. Uh, as the name suggests, uh, it, it involves conversion of images of typed and handwritten text uh, into machine encoded text. Uh, one of the best examples why we need uh, object detection is for autonomous driving. Uh, in order for a car uh, to decide what to do next in a next step uh, like accelerate, apply brakes or turn, uh, it needs to know what objects are in all around the car and that requires object detection. Uh, object tracking uh, which, uh, such as uh, tracking vehicle, uh, activity tracking, uh, all of this requires object detection. Uh, another uh, another most useful application is face recognition. Face recognition has a lot of use application including uh, security. So how object detection works? So object each object has some quite distinctive features. Uh, object de uh, object detection exploit these features. Uh, for example, when uh, uh, for example all circles are round. And when looking for a squares, objects that are uh, perpendicular at corner and have equal uh, equal uh, sides lengths are uh, ne needed. And there are a lot of lots of methods for object detection. But for this presentation, we are interested in you only Linux ones, which is known as YOLO algorithm. And thank you, everyone. My partner Raihan will present the next part. Thank you, Mahabu. Now I will discuss why yellow algorithm is used in object detection. The main benefit of the yellow algorithm is that it's highly accurate and extremely fast. Yellow sees the entire image during training and test time so it implicitly encodes contextual information about classes as well as their appearance. It also, also gives great accuracy while predicting objects from paintings. Now let's discuss how this algorithm actually works. We take an image and split it into S by S grid. Each cell predicts B boxes that have parameter parameters X, Y, which specifies the center of the object and W, H that denotes the width and height of the box relative to cell width and height. Each cell will specify only one object. Suppose this blue cell detects this car. The box will look like this so each cell can make a box corresponding to the objects. Now each cell predicts the box and puts a probability value in it. Here we used different colors to show different classes of objects in the grid. This image shows all the boxes that identified an object. Now we can see that multiple boxes are around a single object. You can see from here that this green box has identified it. There's another green box, another, there's multiple boxes around a single object. Okay. Finally, we use the non-max suppression technique which removes boxes with low probabilities and keeps only the box with maximum probability so our final image will look like this here each image has corresponding probability value so the probability of this we can see that this 
box has less than this this outer uh, green box so finally we can see that the, this outer green box has higher probability so this uh, uh, this is the final uh, box which predicts this object okay similarly for this object and for this object so this is how this algorithm works now here we use threshold detection we have made we have detected a box but is the box predicted correct object how can we specify it we can specify it by calculating the iou iou means intersection over union here the algorithm chooses this red square but the optimal optimal box is this green square so if so we can uh, calculate iou using this formula where the above we use this intersection part and we use the nominator as the this sum of this total area now if the iou of the red square is greater than or equal to 0 0.5 we keep this box we keep this bo red box as correct this is how we prove the correctness of the algorithm now let's get into coding technique here we split the this image into 7 by 7 grid cells we add another dimension that keeps the value of pc bx by bw bh c1 c2 and cn here c is the classes you can see that pc is the probability of a class and these are the coordinates and w is the bw is the width and bh is the height now if we want to predict b boxes b boxes from here uh, then we would need b into 5 plus c elements in that dimension okay now there uh, okay it can be seen from here this is the red box which i have shown here this looks like this okay now there can be an example like this we can see that it's impossible for uh, we, it's impossible for only one box to identify two objects this horizontal box identifies this car but this uh, uh, vertical box identifies this person so the solution is that we need two anchor boxes so for each cell we we have to calculate we have to find two anchor box boxes one anchor boxes checks for this horizontal object and one anchor box checks for this vertical object so uh, using the multiple bounding boxes can be added this way we just add uh, similarly this way and our uh, array will look like this now here are some results of the yellow algorithm with a comparison with other algorithms we can see that it outperforms methods like dpm rcnn when generalizing to person detection in artwork the artwork okay you can, you can see yellow algorithm correctly is the winner while calculating the accuracy okay uh, that's it for today thank you